Rolling along here, the first of two Money in the Bank matches uh, that are actually the latter matches of the night. And that one is going to be for the World Heavyweight Championship contract. And this includes Fandango, Wade Barrett, Dean Ambrose, Jack Swagger, Damian Sandow, Cody Rhodes, and Antonio Cesaro. So let's break it down one by one here. Fandango. Anybody think he's going to win? Yep. Nope. Nah. No. Peyton, you think he's going to win? I think he's the dark horse choice for this. Do you think he's actually going to become the world champion? He could. He could. They're, yeah. they're, <laughs> somebody likes this guy a lot. And it's not just me. I, I think he's more of an outside shot at best. Yeah. I, mean, I think he stands better chance than at least half the other guys. I'll say oh, he certainly stands a better chance than Swagger, but that's a given. Yeah. I think he stands a better chance than only Swagger and Cesaro. I'd put him at the third at the bottom. I don't like the I don't like all this talk against Jack Swagger. <laughs> uh, Wade Barrett. Now he's the person I'm picking to win. He's the person that I think has the lowest chance of winning this match <laughs> because he's English. <laughs> because you, because it's so obvious. Serious, though. I know That's you are, obvious. which is kind of worrying. Hmm. I know you are, which is kind of worrying. <laughs> oh, no, no. I believe you'll do it. I be- believe in the shield. I mean, yeah. Wade Barrett. You believe in the Barrett barrage? I did I once when he was involved in the Nexus. I believe it's in the pre- five-knuckle shuffle. Oh, wait, it's, that's it's, it's the Barrett barrage. Not barrage. the barrage. Yeah. Oh, it's a barrage. <laughs> Thank the you very barrage. much. And I'm there. the Englishman who's talking about it, okay, sunshine? <laughs> Don't correct my grammar, son. <laughs> no, you only do that if you're uh, the editor of a fanbase. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, you guys must have a reason for him being labeled the favorite. May you list them off because I can't for the life of me think how he has a better shot than, say, Jack Swagger or Antonio Cesaro. Websites love him. Yeah, Swagger and Cesaro have no shot because they haven't done anything with them. And it's not even a case where, oh, they're not doing anything with them, and then all of a sudden they get a surprise win. They've just really not been on the map in terms of, of anything. Jack Swagger hasn't hasn't wrestled in a month. I think that's punishment for, you know, the, the whole uh, marijuana thing. And Cesaro's whole... been on pretty much a losing streak for a while now, it seems. He's only been, if he hasn't been losing on TV, he's been just on Superstars. So are Barrett um, and Rhodes, and even Sandow, for that matter. Well, I'm, I'm getting to that. Fandango... He has the best of the worst. He he might be able to to win, but it's a very low chance. Dean Ambrose already has the inter, uh, has the U.S. title. They're not gonna put the they're not gonna give him the case and the U.S. title. Um, it really? has happened before. Mm-hmm. Has it? Yeah, with yes, the Miz, with the Continental Miz. Championship and the uh, the briefcase, and yes, with the Miz with the U.S. Championship and the briefcase. Didn't RVD have the Intercontinental title? Yeah, he won yes, it after he, he won uh, the Money in the Bank, like a month after. Because he's having a grudge match with Shelton Benjamin. Hmm. All right, then I, I'm going to take it back. I say Dean Ambrose has the best of the worst chance. Yeah. Oh. But um, and as far as Barrett, Rhodes, and Sandow, they pretty much, to me, if you're going to count those three, have 33% chance between them. They all, any of those guys, in my opinion, could win Money in the Bank, and I'd be completely okay with that. Sandow's my dark horse. He's like just a level above everybody who's not Ambrose. In this match, and that's just because he's the only been the only one doing something somewhat relevant, being Sheamus's uh, kickoff buddy, literally and figuratively over, over the last month. Now he's been relegated to doing these uh, these team skits because we got we got Team We the People now, and they were doing these segments with Team Road Scholars. So now they're doing this whole team thing. So now it's throwing me off even more because now I'm thinking, well, these guys are in tag teams, so that means they're not going to win. See, this is where I would go when it comes to a lot of these people. Um, Fandango is in the position, I think, right now that Tyson Kidd and Tensai were in when they were in Money in the Bank. There's someone who has a focal point on them enough to put them in Money in the Bank, but right afterward, they're not going to find themselves as a focal point of the next pay-per-view of SummerSlam. I don't think Fandango is going to be in some kind of a a grudge match or anything like that. I think he'll be one of the people in maybe the pre-show or something like that. Um, 
So you're saying they're the flavor of the month? Kind of, yeah. Um, I think that that injury with Fandango really screwed up his uh, career trajectory because he would have obviously been in that Intercontinental title match and he would have been in a position that Curtis Axel's in now. Um, maybe that's for the better. Maybe that'll mean that they don't rush him in something and he'll be able to work t- towards something else. I don't know, but I don't think Money in the Bank's going to end up being it because I think that that's... Would, would you really expect this guy to be the money, uh, the world heavyweight champion later on in the year or something? I personally wouldn't. No. Um, Swagger and Cesaro. Now, Swagger, you've given him money in the bank before, and they didn't really do much with them. They've tr- trusted him with the world heavyweight championship main event spot, and he screwed it up again. So there can't be much trust left in Jack Swagger. And they can't just trust giving him something that big and have him fuck it all up again. Uh, Cesaro, if this would have been earlier on in the year, it would have been a different story, but they really cut him out of Raw almost entirely. And I don't think it was because of some kind of we're gonna take him out and then bring him back and really like uh, put like rockets on his feet and have him fly towards the main event. I think that that was just we've lost faith in him. Now we'll bring him in with this random tag team and hey, he's somebody who could fill in the spot. Uh, Ambrose, partially because of the United States title and partially because he hasn't really done much with the United States title. I mean, you haven't seen him in really a whole lot of feuds. He's not putting over the U.S. title in a specific way. It's not as if he's doing what Cody Rhodes did with the Intercontinental Championship. So do you reward somebody like that with keeping the championship and giving him a future world title at the same time? I don't think so. I think that they're... This is one of those situations where Ambrose isn't going to be a, a huge focal point of this match. There's going to be a couple times where he seems like he might win it, but then he's kind of just going to be off onto the side, and he's not going to come out on top. Um, so it really comes down to the other three, the Cody Rhodes, Wade Barrett, and Damian Sandow. Rhodes has a good chance of winning this if they want to change his character up, but if they don't plan on doing that, he has no shot. He's not going to win and be a world champion with the mustache and being a part of Team Road Scholars. It's just not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Sandow, ah. Sandow, though, that's that's a tricky thing. They've shown in the past that they like to have people lose before they give them a big win. And maybe that whole situation with Sheamus was their shot at, let's see if he can look like somebody who can go up against somebody like Sheamus. And then maybe we'll give him the money in the bank. I think if anybody wins other than Wade Barrett, it's going to be Sandow. Yeah, he's he's my he's my dark horse pick too for for that very reason. But I, I think, still I still uh, don't know if uh, I trust him that much to push him above just being you know that one guy in in Road Scholars. I think the problem with Cody right now is he's the the thing that's got him over right now is that mustache, and I'm tired of it. He needs to get rid of that thing. I mean, it it's it, it sucks when f- your facial hair is the thing that gets you over. I mean, it's it's not really something you want to get over for. Mm-hmm. Well, Sandow and Brian are doing pretty good with their beards. <laughs> but that's Selleck different. Made a career of it. <laughs> <laughs> he also made it into dude. a top seven top seven list. Da, am, I the, da, da, da. am I the only one who sees Ambrose as a he- very heavy favorite of winning this? Probably. Yeah. Uh. He's, he's on my team, and I still don't see him as a favorite in winning this. Really? He's, yeah. He's got the he's got the swag to him. He's got the 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 the, the body language. Swag, swag, uh, swag, swag, swag. He, he's got the he, he's got the tools to be a main eventer. It's just the package that he's working with is not up to par with what WWE looks for. If you if you'd have put that type of attitude in a Roman Reigns, he'd be WWE champion like that. But because it's in a body that probably wouldn't even main event TNA, I don't know. Well, speaking of people who are going to talk about Roman Reigns' body, Peyton. 
Um, you know, the way I see this is going is, uh, like I said, Fandango, I think, has a good chance. However, if he wins it, I don't think he's going to win the World Heavyweight title. I think he's going to be the first rising star to lose their Money in the Bank cash-in. I, I know John Cena has lost his Money in the Bank, but you know, Money in the Bank has always been used as a way of elevating a person. I think Fandango could be that first guy that's like, oh, he's going to be going to the, oh, no, he's not. He lost it. He could be a good person to be that first person to set that example. The other people that I can see winning is either member of Rhodes Scholars, and if they get it, then I do see them going on to become World Heavyweight Champion. No way, Barrett? No way, Barrett, absolutely no. not. No, okay, at least we have somebody thinking... On the, on the same uh, level here, I couldn't be the only one thinking he's got no chance of winning. Would you love? Would you put him? Believe him, Barrett. I hey, do too. Peyton, would you put him along with uh, Swagger and Cesaro as having absolutely no chance of winning? No, this thing? I, I would put him above Cesaro and Swagger. The only thing I see Cesaro and Swagger doing in this is having like a comedy spot where they're arguing over who gets to go up and get the belt. I hope so, because if Cesaro wins, I think I might actually puke in a in a. <laughs> In a in, a, in a red, white, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. On, 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 an, on an American flag at that point. Yeah, you go on an American flag. <laughs> You're gonna go out and buy one of their own. Yeah, yeah. I, I keep These Canadians, stash. what are they like? <laughs> Do they even sell American flags in Canada? Probably. I mean, I, I live uh, pretty close to Windsor. That's right cl- uh, across the, the river from Detroit. Oh, you find American on flags there. in Canada? Yeah. Are you anti-American, Bren? Right by the border. I mean, are you a terrorist? Yeah. Just, just find a Walmart. It, yeah. they, they sell them there. It, it's, it's Walmart, so they'll have American flags even if you're in freaking India. I'm telling Zeb. Or I'll, or I'll puke on a flag of Switzerland or a flag of Germany. I don't know That's which one better. it's from yet, so I got to decide. Better. I'll do it on American, my buddy. But yeah, uh, if Cesaro wins, that, that's an ultimate shame and waste of the money in the bank briefcase. Yeah, let's say I listen to his podcast as we speak. <laughs> All right, so one quick final prediction thing. Uh, who is the one person above all that you think is going to win, Miguel? Uh, Barrett. It's about time, you know. Brandon? Barrett, just because it's his time. Payton? Sandow, because fuck Barrett. <laughs> Brayden? Dean Ambrose, because he's the best booked of all seven men. The only one with any momentum. Barrett Barrage, mate. Barrett Barrage. And I'm going to go with Barrett as well. And Damn. that is going to take us into the final part of this very, very long episode with the other Money in the Bank ladder match for well, the... What? Hold on, I got one last thing. So does that mean that if Barrett is going to be the one to win, is he going to be the one to cash in on Ziggler later in the night? I don't think that there's going to be a cash in, but for those who do think that there is a cash in... Sure. <laughs> I don't think Barrett's winning. So, no. no. It's all theoretical. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so then we're going to move on into the final part. WWE All-Star Money in the Bank ladder match briefcase championship whatever blah 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 blah. blah. 